I think it's finally time to go ahead and start changing uh, this general page and have a header and footer. What we're going to want to do is we, we want to make it look similar to this right here, if not identical. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to generate this header um, and footer and then everything in the middle can change. So normally the way I start off with things is I'll look for the bootstrap menu and the first one is the nav bar get bootstrap.com examples nav bar um, you can view the page source and then you know just copy the static nav bar and from there you can go ahead and modify it since we want this to look similar to this like i said preferably identical i'll go ahead and include my own but i did want to show that you can go here view page source grab uh, the container right there which is the nav bar after we've included this bootstrap into our website so I guess we'll go ahead and start off there so the first thing I do is I go to application and I'll open up the main controller because this is where we're gonna be doing stuff we don't need this information anymore so right here is where we're going to be including stuff so remember header and footer they're constantly i mean they're going to be the same across every single page the only thing that's going to change is the middle content right here so we're going to want to you know make this a little bit more efficient than having all of this information that's really not necessary to be included here we'll just move that into a header view so let me go ahead and create a new PHP file. So for this, we'll just call it header.php. And of course, like I said, the first thing you're gonna wanna need is this PHP defined uh, information right there. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do is of course, uh, get the doc type and the HTML. So that goes at the very top. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and create a PHP call, a file called footer.php, and we'll just keep that there. Move that, save it. There we go. So, continuing on with header, the next thing that we need is the head, and within the head, we need the title. So, remember I said you can pass variables to the views from the controller so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna initialize this data array right here <clears throat> and we'll call you know let's say main page right so we'll, we'll for right now uh, later on we'll go ahead and, and change that we're also gonna want to load the footer or the header and as you can see, the second parameter that the view accepts is the data variable, uh, which once CodeIgniter gets through with it, we're not going to be referencing data like this, but you'll be referencing it as a variable name that matches the element name. So what do I mean by that? If we go to our header right here within the title, we can just put in a little bit of PHP and we can say echo title. So as you can see that title variable although you know in here of course it says undefined variable title we defined it here and we named the main page and we're passing that to the header all right so let's go ahead and load the footer view as well there we go so in every single page pretty much we're going to load the header and the footer and then we're gonna load a different view uh, for every single page. So there's the main view, which currently is this right here. Uh, we are gonna change this very quickly. So let's go ahead and actually do that right now. So we'll just say, hey, there we go. Because all the other information basically gets moved up to the top. The other thing we need right here is the body. We don't need the closing tag because that's going to go into the footer. And in the footer, we'll close the body 
and we'll close the HTML. Um, right here, like I said, it looks like um, there are errors, but no worry, there are not. Um, Code Igniter knows how to handle that. Uh, the next day, let's put in some of the standard stuff. Corset UTF-8 and metaname viewport content width equals device width. Uh, and what else? Goes? Initial scale is equal to one. Let's include some of the style sheets that we need to be working with. So right in here, so that Bootstrap knows how to find it, there's a base URL, global method, I guess, that uh, or function that you can call, which basically just echoes out the first portion of the website URL. At that point, we can just say assets folder. And by the way, when you echo this out, it does uh, include the trailing forward slash. So all we have to do is say assets, uh, inside assets, there's bootstrap. And there it is right there. And inside bootstrap, there's CSS. And inside of the CSS, uh, we're gonna wanna get the uh, bootstrap. We're good to go right there. Uh, the other style sheet that we're gonna need is our own, of course. So let's go ahead and grab that. Same thing, base URL. And ours is an assets. Uh, CSS style sheet CSS. Well, last but not least, uh, since we're going to be using some of the font awesome fonts in here, uh, we'll just go ahead and include this like that so we don't have to download font awesome. If you go over here, just open up a new tab, type in font awesome, you'll see font awesome icons. And once you have font awesome initialized, then you can include these cool looking icons that you can see right here. The other stuff that we have to do is we also have to include uh, jQuery. So, go base URL. Oops. There we go. And jQuery is located in assets. jQuery. And what is this version? jQuery 3.2.1.mid.js. Once we've included jQuery, we also have to include the bootstrap JavaScript portion. There we go. Base URL. And that's located in assets, bootstrap, JS, bootstrap. There we go. That's all we're going to need uh, to include the files that we need. And the footer uh, is basically right there. Some other JavaScript would be placed basically right here, right before your closing body tag. But the jQuery and the bootstrap, I usually like to put that in the header. So let's see if that's worked. So we call the header. We pass it the data. We call this the main page. And we call the main view. That now just contains the word hey. And then we follow it up with the footer, which contains the closing tags. So let's go ahead and refresh. And there it is. Hey, if we inspect the source, look at that. We have all of this information, including that title, main page, and the closing body and HTML tags uh, from the footer. So in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and start working on our main page. 
Um, we'll modify this page a, a lot more. And um, maybe even before we do that, maybe even jump over and do the footer uh, and complete the header, you know, have the navigation and everything like that. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and work on the header and the footer. And after we're done with the header and the footer, we'll jump into the main view.